Hello there. The next brush we're going to be using my Magad Purple Swirl Synthetic. Fantastic synthetic brush. And tonight, soap is going to be Mystic Water Soaps Jeff's Lavender. This is an absolutely fantastic lavender soap. We're going to move on down and start to shave. Just a wonderful soap. Uh, this soap can be really fickle. Uh, you can end up by that I mean you can end up with a lather that disappears on your face really really fast if you're not if you don't mix it load it just right and uh, I don't normally have that issue with it but I tend to soak it a long time like a couple of hours before I go to use it and I only spent like 10 minutes it only spent like 10 minutes in warm water uh, tonight before my shave so but even even when you get a really what most guys would consider a really bad lather you get a lather that dissipates quickly that kind of deal even then the face is so thick or slick rather from this soap that I can go ahead and shave with a straight razor and it'll be nice and slick and protective and it won't even look like I've got anything on the face uh, so I mean I don't I tend to forgive the soap a bit more than most people might because of that characteristic it doesn't matter normally though I get a really good lather from this soap that is good and solid and steady anyway but sometimes I get a funky kind of lather like that that disappears that's a little bit uh, and I just go ahead and shave anyway because I know that the soap has provided all the slickness that I need to shave with and I think that right there is going to be just fine we shall see but I think we're good all right See how that works. Let's see. Let's push it down just a tad. Sorry guys, but low budget. You guys know me. Let's wet the face. Above. Wonderful, wonderful lather and lovely lavender scent. Just beautiful. And the razor tonight. 
clear that it is my, it is my Cronin Schneider, I believe. That's what it was. Uh, it's my coon blade, coon razor. Uh, I uh, used this a couple of videos videos ago, but I have put a. I took and I got a fantastic shave out of it, but I took it back to. I took it to an Ar a translucent, a small translucent Arkansas that I have, just to see how well that'll boost the edge. We're gonna. Find out tonight. Lovely. Lovely smooth. What a a lot of times what an Arkansas does to an edge, and it depends on where you're coming from, what stone or process you're coming from. But when you get an edge on a razor, it's kind of hyper sharp. That's lovely. In my experience, what an Arkansas tends to do, man, is uh, kind of, well, in this instance, I, I honed on a one micron lapping film. So it's a synthetic edge, and it's, lapping film is a synthetic edge that really puts a sharp sharp edge on a straight razor but some people can see that edge as harsh to me it's not sharp equals smooth to me uh, in a lot of ways, but what an Arkansas stone tends to do, and what it's done on this one, is to bring the edge to a really, it usually burst, boosts the edge up sharpness wise, but in a controlled kind of smooth kind of way, so that you're ending up, you end up with that really really keen edge but it it's really really smooth it has the smoothness that to me a good conical edge has but it, it's much sharper that's lovely Just a bit more. <laughs> and more is the name of the game for me. And I don't know if. I should actually say that because I like all kinds of edges. I love a good conical edge. They're not uh, known to be really keen. Mine usually are. And I know there are others that can get a good keenness off a of conical.
and you can hone on a JNET in a way to kind of mitigate it getting hyper sharp too. I nicked myself a couple of times there. Well, I think I cut a zit off. A couple of zits off is what I did. But anyway, a couple of zits, a couple of bumps, something like that. But anyway, uh, so but so I don't know if I should really say it that way. But sharpness and keenness. are also really, really important to me. And I love sharp in a straight razor. The sharper for me, the better. I don't generally end up perceiving the hyper sharpness as uh, harshness. Like some people do, but like I said, I like all different kinds of edges. But the, the Arkansas just takes whatever it is that you've got and pushes it. If you do it right, and you take the time, and you present the razor to the stone right, you mess up on an Arkansas, your edge is done. But if you do it right, it just takes whatever you got and goes let's go up just like uh emerald kick it up a notch you know that kind of deal we're going to use vintage well this is uh procter and gamble old spice in a vintage bottle and what i've learned is that procter and gamble have cheaped out somehow some way on whatever they emulsify this aftershave with whatever ingredient they got that that blends oh that's good that blends this aftershave together uh, it doesn't do as good of a job they change something somehow and in order to get the strength the scent strength that I'm used to with this you need to shake it up so but shake it up works just good just as good as it always did there's a lot of uh, artisan Aftershaves you got to shake up. Nobody complains about that. So it's not a big deal to me And I love Old Spice both varieties of the vintage the uh, uh, The Shulton Brand and the Procter & Gamble they both of them are just I love them They're a bit different the Procter & Gamble is a little more powdery and the Shulton's a little more spicy and earthy But they both are wonderful and I've got both so, you know, anyway, God bless you. Thank you for uh, watching, and I'll talk to you later.